You very seldom see policemen or traffic policemen along the roads when you are driving. And that is why I think we have such a problem with safety on the roads. People are speeding, lorries are getting bigger, buses are getting bigger, our roads are getting more congested. The other dangerous area are the old roads, for example, Neo Tu Road, which is the main country road of the Singapore crunchy countryside. The road has remained the same size, the buses are getting bigger, the lorries are getting bigger. I have told the traffic police 100 times to please look at the possibility of changing this road into a one-way street. Does the traffic police bother? I don't think they really do. Because road design and road safety is not their job. It is LTA's job. So how can we get these two agencies to work together to resolve the number of dangerous roads that are still in existence? Look at lorries from Malaysia also. They come with a special speed limit on the back of their truck, which is like 80 uh, kilometers or 90 kilometers, because they have a different uh, rule in Malaysia. When they come to Singapore, what is the speed limit they should be following? I don't think anybody is clear about this. So let it be made very clear so that the Malaysians should know that they shouldn't be speeding on our roads because ours is a city, it's not so much an overland road. But I was fascinated with this warning the other day when I was driving. It says, look out for the truck, it has a blind spot. So in this day of high technology, you mean the lorry cannot have proper mirrors or sound uh, systems where they are told that people around them you mean we have to be careful of the lorry so that the lorry has a right to run over you we must review our laws and our practices traffic police do your job don't just sit down and don't respond in spite of the fact that I called your chief many many times I have not received a reply we must introduce more serious punishment for people who drive heavy vehicles and damage people along the way and worse still kill people along the way. So when a guy drives a truck or a bus and he speeds, we should cane him. If he drives a truck and he speeds and he kills someone, we should hang him. These are the only punishment these people are afraid of. Otherwise, they don't care about you. They come from countries where life is cheap. So protect Singaporeans. Punish these people. Your views are very welcome. Tell me about it at happytv.com slash gentlewarrior. Hit the subscribe button and I will love you forever.